My name is Joey King. I am a software developer in Austin, Texas, and I live here with my wife, our two children, and our dog. Uh, my daughter actually just turned two months old yesterday, and that means I have a ridiculous amount of newborn clothes into which she no longer fits. This includes everything, uh, you know, pajamas that she wore several times, but also little cutesy dresses and sandals and headbands. Um, she wore those a maximum three times, right? Sometimes, some of those she never even wore at all. And I think that we all have stuff like this in our homes, stuff that's perfectly usable, uh, perfectly fine, but we just no longer want or need them. And there are definitely solutions for that, such as Goodwill, where we can donate them, uh, but then someone has to buy them, right? And I would much rather give away these baby clothes, for example, to someone that I knew really wanted or needed them um, and have them pay nothing. So that's where Cycle comes in. Cycle is a place to do just that. You can give away things that you no longer want um, and get things from other people who no longer want their things um, all in your local community. And that's the end goal is to build community. I built Cycle with Django and the backend using Django REST framework, uh, Celery with Redis and a MySQL database. And the front end was built with React using Bootstrap, a tiny bit of Material UI, and Axios. So we'll go ahead and get started here. The landing page, uh, pretty simple here. And we can go ahead and register a new account. My can I go ahead and register account for Darth Vader here? Just because I've been showing my son Star Wars for the first time. And he's a little obsessed with Darth Vader because he's awesome. Uh, right now, I can just put in any street uh, for the address just because I just haven't set up geolocation yet. That's definitely coming in a future iteration. And we'll say that Darth currently lives in Austin. Users can upload their profile picture, register, and automatically logged in. Uh, you can see not a lot going in in Austin. What is this? It looks like someone's Yoda is selling a broken <laughs> lightsaber. Okay, so we'll go ahead and log Darth out here and move to Nevin, who is in Milwaukee. A bit more happening in Milwaukee. Uh, you see the homepage lists out everything available in Milwaukee currently. Um, we can search through this. So I can search by name or I can search by category. And uh, on all of these cards here, just a little bit of information. Uh, it just shows you the time left for uh, how long this is going to be listed uh, for expressing your interest and the condition. Um, express your interest just by clicking the button here and you're added to the list of interested users on the back end for this gift. Uh, we can also take that off. We can go look at the details here. See, this is offered by Megan. There's a description on the details page. It shows you how many interested users there currently are and the time when this ends and a countdown. Uh, you can still add your name here and you can add a comment if you would like. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the give page. Uh, the give, it lists out what Nevin currently has listed. Note that he doesn't see this on his home page. Um, and the details page for him does not show the interested button because he's not going to add his name to the interested users for his own listing. Uh, you can see Megan had asked him how many here and we can tell her how many. Go back to the give page. 
and we can add a new gift. Nevin has some leftover sausages that he's just not going to eat. And groceries, like new. I would hope they were new. And hours active. So this is what every gift gets that sets the timer on the back end. Um, as soon as this is posted, a celery worker is fired up um, so that at the end of this 24 hours or however long Nevin says, um, then on the back end, from the list of interested users, a random winner is chosen, and then the gift is set to inactive. And he can add a picture here. There we go. And if he needs to, he can edit this, or you can go ahead and delete it. And at the end of the interest period, winner's chosen and displayed here. Nevin can look at his profile. He can edit it or change his password. He can also go ahead and look at his entire history, everything that he's given and everything that he's received. He hasn't been too active yet. He's still pretty new. <laughs> so that cycle for now. Um, there's definitely a lot more that I would like to do to that I'd like to do uh, definitely a lot more in the works. Uh, the biggest of which right now is instead of just displaying the winners, I'm uh, digging into WebSockets with Django channels uh, to go ahead and notify the winner and the giver and then set up a chat between them to coordinate the pickup. Other than that, uh, there's a lot of styling that I'd like to change to get away from this kind of standard and used bootstrap styling. And then, you know, just refact refactoring things to make the code a little bit cleaner and more reusable. Um, and yes, that is Cycle. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. And bye.